Did you struggle with material game optimization? Today, I'm going to show you a smart way of reducing the number of textures for your characters or assets for mobile games. To showcase it, I'll be using my latest project called Eternal League. You can find more information in the description. So what does it mean reducing the number of textures? As you know, for each character, normally you have an albedo or a diffuse map, also a roughness, metallic and ambient occlusion, and as well a normal map. For this project, I wanted to reduce the number of textures that are being used, so I combined the normal map together with the roughness and the metallic. Let me show you how exactly this is being done. If I open one of the textures for the character, you can see that this is my normal map. And on the normal map, on the red channel and on the green channel are the two normal channels of information that come from the normals. But from the blue and as well on the alpha, instead of using what's default in the normal map, I'm using inside the blue channel my roughness and then on the alpha, the metallic. This thing allows me to build a shader which is using the normal map, what we have now. Then it takes the red, the green channel, and I create the blue channel inside Unreal. And then the other two channels become available for other two textures. This reduces the number of textures that I'm using for each of the characters, which also saves a lot of memory. And when we are doing things for mobile, having more texture memory is amazing. Subscribe and follow for more development tips as well as how the game development is moving.